Easy ha, easy ha. Good baby. Walk to the barn. Hi guys, it's Michaela. I thought I'd come on and just say happy Valentine's Day. And I know I'll upload this after Valentine's Day, probably. But I thought I'd come on and I'd explain how I make my tail bags. Because I do put Itch's tail in a tail bag since I pull, she pulls a cart. And so her tail is too long for it. Her tail gets stuck in the brake and I have a brake on my cart. And so I put her tail in a tail bag which is really just a sock. It's not even like a big long one like a regular tail box. It's that long. It's all it is. And what I do is I cut about that much at the top on both ends. And then I just braid them up and I put it in the tail bag and I'll show you how I do that in a minute. All right, so what I did was I just cut to about the end right here and I have four little pieces. So now I can, um, I can tie it in her tail once it's braided up and that'll be really cool. If I haven't showed on my channel yet all about my trailer, that is my trailer. I will be posting a video soon once I figure out what how I'm going to work on it first and what I'm doing. But yeah, what I have done so far, see, I have this off on my hand. What I have done so far is I've washed her tail with Dawn dishwashing liquid because that's just the cheapest and it works just fine. It kills bacteria, blah, blah, blah. And I have put some oatmeal conditioner in her tail and now I'm just letting her dry off. It and everything. I have her um, blanket all neatly placed right here and then she's put it back. I'll show you here once I get her. Step up. I need you back in the cross stays like you go. Over. 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 There you go. Good girl. All right. So here, here's how I have my blanket all pushed up so I don't have to take it all the way off because ugh, why bother so it's just right up here and see her tails her tail is pretty long it's about that long and so I have to have it tied up for when I hook her to the cart Okay, so basically you saw me 
brush out our tail and then braid it all the way down and then i don't know whether you could see this or not but i doubled her tail and then i folded it in half again and then i put two bands around that and now i'm gonna put this on it and tie it so i'll put the camera back and y'all can watch from far and then i'll explain again what i did Okay, so I have the tail tail bag on there, which is just a little short sock. And now it looks like this. It's really short. And so it's a good thing that it's not fly season because otherwise she wouldn't have anything to shoe flies with. I'm thinking about getting her tail boot, but I don't know. Anyways, I knotted <coughs> both all of the little sections. And I did it at the end of the bone of the tail. Now I'm just gonna go get a towel and I'm gonna dry off her butt so I can put her blanket back over and then I'm gonna feed the ponies. All right, so I'm all done. I couldn't find a towel, so I just used a really dirty cooler to dry her off, which is fine. But this is what her little bum looks like now. Little. I think it looks so sad though, because it looks like she ain't got no tail. It looks like, like it's bandaged or something. I would have washed and braided up her mane, but when I do that, where it's so thin, you can see how thin it is right here. It just breaks it off. So I don't even bother braiding up her mane. But she's a good girl, other than when she's hateful. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will link my personal Instagrams, which are my equine and my makeup one, my group Instagram, my group, and my group YouTube account. Thanks for watching. Bye.